So today is Mario 10. So every year as of forever, not literally forever, but for the longest time, March 10th would always mark the day as Mario Day. So just look at it, you know, you have March 10th. So the one and zero uh, would be IO. And then MAR is, you know, first three letters of Mario. So let's take a look. I uh, got a film announcement. Yes, I know we're dying to see the next uh, Mario movie. So let's take a look at what Mr. Miyamoto said. Uh, before I say that, probably should have put that in the title. Yeah, you could read the description, but I feel like they could have said Mario 10 Day. Mario 10 Day, sorry. Mario Day 2024 uh, featuring Shigeru Miyamoto and Super Mario Brothers the movie 2 or whatever. I don't Maybe they'll call it that. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to play the video. And from time to time, I'll pause it to get my thoughts. Let's take a look. So we're going to have Kevin Afghani as the voice of Mario. And yeah, so he was been Super Mario Brothers Wonder. That was, yeah, I guess that would have been the first Mario game he was in. Pub oh, yeah. Well, publicly, at least. Oh, yeah. Mario time. Okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. Something. Illumination. Yeah, that was a good movie, actually. I, I had to use the I had to run to the toilet like two or three times because I kept drinking too much soda during the movie. Wait a minute. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's it's well, it's been out on uh, DVD and Blu-ray for a while now, uh, as well as streaming services. But uh, I remember lately I've been watching, this is not video game related, but I've been watching Young Sheldon a lot on Netflix. And almost pretty much every single time I log in, I see uh, Super Mario Brothers. Now that's also could be based on, my, you know, like when you set up your account, it'll ask like, what kind of uh, movies do you like? Or something. Uh, and this was a new Netflix account. Um, it was a family account we were using, not my personal account. Anyway, so I had to recently create my, my own user. And it was asking me what kind of movies I watch. Well, I don't really watch a lot of movies. I do watch some shows here and there. Um, but I'm more of a gamer. Anyway, it would um, ask you, like, oh, what kind of content do you like? And Super Mario Brothers, the Super Mario Brothers movie uh, came up. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to say that. And then there was some other, there was one other thing I uh, put on there. Anyway, back to the video. Alright. Then that might work out. I don't know, but. Hello, and happy Mario Day to everyone watching. All right, we also have some uh, characters from Despicable Me, uh, or, or the Minions. Well, basically it's the same series, but um, I think that's a minion. I don't know what this. I guess it's a hat. Uh, it's probably some reward, or maybe that's his bachelor's degree that he got. I don't know. He's got a trophy. Uh, those are from, uh, I can't remember the name of the movie. But, uh, I think it had the name, it had the word pets in it. Pets Life 2 or something? I don't remember. Uh, you had, uh, what's this guy, this guy's name? He was like the villain in Despicable Me. I forgot his name. We got the Mario question mark. Got a piano. I don't know if that piano really... If this model of piano is in anything. Maybe the Mario movie, possibly. I don't know. We got Bowser. 
And I actually, when I first saw this, uh, I thought that was uh, Ness and, um, yeah, Ness and Luke, was that his name? I don't know. Well, Ness and whatever the other guy's name was from Mother Series, or Earthbound. No, it's Minion, so I think. I was wondering, it's like, why is it showing uh, Earthbound characters? I'm it's not. to be here alongside Miyamoto-san to officially announce our return to the Super Mario Bros. Our directors, Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelinek, and the very talented artists from Illumination Studios Paris, who brought the Mushroom Kingdom to life. Oh, I didn't know it was partly made in France. Busy at work storyboarding scenes and developing set designs for new environments. We start animation soon, and rest assured we'll be obsessing over every detail to get it just right. All right, good. The film will arrive on April 3rd, 2026 in the U.S. So that's one day before my birthday. No, I'm probably not going to see it right when it comes out. And many other markets globally, with a few select territories releasing throughout the month of April. Back to you, Miyamoto-san. Arigatou, Chris-san. Arigatou. This guy's in his 70s now. I think he's 71 now. See what else they talk about. Probably not much else. No, oh, that's it. Happy Mario Day. Happy. Oh, I like that. He said that in English. Oh, wait, we still got like uh, thirty, a little like around thirty seconds left. Let's see what uh, what else they have to show. Paper Mario. Okay. Thousand Year Door available May twenty third. Well, it's about damn time. Okay. I saw someone on Twitter talking about that, but I didn't realize it was going to be in this video. Okay. Oh, what's this? Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Also known as Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Yeah, originally in North America it was called Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, in Europe it was called Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called in Japan, but I mean it's the same game. But uh, with the HD version, they're basically deciding. It's like, yeah, we're just going to call it Luigi's Mansion 2 in North America. I don't know what they called it in South America. Oh. All right. I also got some uh, Game Boy games. Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Get they're the same generation, but Game Boy Color was like the mid-generation upgrade. Got Dr. Mario... Mario Golf and Mario Tennis. So that's coming out May 12th. Or, excuse me, March 12th. Which is actually two days from now. I didn't realize this was all going to be uh, in the same video. Um, actually, I am going to do a separate video after this uh, about the games. Um, so if you guys want to take a look at that. So, I guess you could say it's like a mini... Nintendo Direct, Mario Day Direct, eh, they didn't call it that, but anyway, um, they probably should have put something else in the title, because, uh, I feel like more people would be more likely to watch it, but, anyway, I mean, it still got close to 800,000 views, I feel like it probably would have gotten more if, well, it is what it is, anyway, let me know your thoughts, I'm looking forward to what Nintendo has to say, what's, has to say, Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.